Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to build an 8020 aluminium extrusion SIM cockpit. The software we're going to use is called Frame Designer. Frame Designer is completely free and you'll find a download link in the description for the application and for our completed save file. If you find this video useful and interesting, please give it a thumbs up, it helps us tremendously and feel free to add your comments below the video. So we've got frame design loaded and the scene which is my completed sim rig. I'm, I'm going to pop up a video up here uh, and you can uh, have a quick look about uh, of what it really looks like in real life. So as we play the video I'm just going to uh, pan around a bit so you can kind of compare what it looks like in the in design here and what it looks like in real life. You just need to you know imagine that it doesn't have all the bits connected and some of the mods I've done. Uh, so it's, the, it's it's kind of like the the bare frame which I bought from you know this design I bought from SimLab a couple of years ago. So it's slightly different from what they do now. The measurements are slightly different, but it's not far off. Uh, and if you look at look at my video, you can see you know it's it's, it's a practical design. It has a lot of um, uh, extra kind of space to put your own equipment on. So it's quite handy. So you know if you kind of built one based on this design. You can't go wrong. I mean, what what you know, you may find it's a little bit larger than you need, um, but at least it's not going to be too small. Uh, but we cover we cover these bits, you know, how to you know about a small design later on. So okay, so as you can see, it's already done, uh, and really, I suppose you could just like use this and not worry about it. But I thought I'd walk you through. I'm going to walk you through the build. So we're just going to clone basically what I have here by just using the same tools in Frame Designer and we're just going to basically replicate it to the side. So we'll go through some of the controls first. First things to uh, look at is this up here uh, and, and this, this is just allows you to kind of pan around uh, and move, move around, zoom in and out. You don't really need to use this, I'm going to put it out of the way because you can, uh, the middle mouse button allows you to move the scene around right allows you to pan and the middle mouse allows you to go in and out and that's that's it's easier to do it that way it's a lot quicker rather than just kind of try and find that okay the tools over the side we, we can ignore all of them except uh this one we want we're going to be using the slot accessories because we need the connector plates which will be the ones we'll be using will be these gussets which uh and we're just going to select these it, it you know, these are the ones we're going to be using. They all these these kind of four basically look identical. So it doesn't really matter which one I'm going to pick from here, but I'm just going to use this one just for consistency. So we can get out and close that for the moment. Over here, we've got properties. So this properties, if we uh, it shows a lot of things about the connection. You know, what how much profile we're using, the uh, covers. So I've got some covers on here you can't really see them there but these are kind of black nylon covers just to protect the edges uh, and those are all the connection parts so that includes all the bolts uh, all the all the t-nut bolts that go in the channels um, and those connecting kind of right angle plates there or brackets we include those as well which uh, allows us to you know just these square ones here but if we click it if we use the pointer here and for the selection tool and click it it changes and it shows us the properties of the actual uh, of the extrusion itself so you see the length the type of extrusion uh, you can even put comments there you could put comments there to save later if you want to do your own notes that's kind of useful up here this is where we select our extrusion type so we're going to be using 40 uh, which is 40 millimeter, which means basically it, it's, it's, it's basically that it's the 40 millimeters, the width there. So that'll be 40, that'll be 80, 80 millimeters. So that's 40, 80. And likewise, this is, uh, you know, 40 times three. So that's 120 and that's 40. So that shows you what, you know, what we're using. If you're doing your, doing your own, don't, don't use anything lower than 40. 30 is too thin. It'll be too it'll be too flexible. Forty is fine. Forty five is is unnecessary. Uh, it'll be, it's more expensive and it's kind of overkill. Just, it'll make it a lot more heavier than you need it to be. Uh, also, you'll notice that we've got a bunch of different types, even off the same one. Um, obviously, you can you know we're not going to worry too much about these. Can you see that any channels 
So you've got some covered ones and you know if you wanted if you had some really specific uses where you wanted to have a smooth surface and cover up the channels that's kind of possible here but you don't really need that um, but you can see there's two options here let's go back sorry see so you can you, you see the you see the standard one and the light one my one's built from the light one and that's the one you kind of should use it's a little bit cheaper than this one you can see it's kind of infilled there and, and all that is is just a channel that goes all the way through which makes the whole uh, extrusion a little bit lighter and a little bit cheaper uh, but it, it's still very strong i mean you could you know for if you had a particular application you wanted to really kind of shore it up then yeah you know that would help but there's you know the the, the benefits at least for building a sim rig are it's diminishing returns you know so you don't really need that it, it makes it a little bit heavy if you to use this type all the way around and you know it's, it's not necessary so i'm going to use this anyway uh, but you know if you did use that it'd look identical on on you know on our in frame designer okay so what else we need to look at okay there's some shortcuts there's some kind of standard shortcuts for control save save regularly um i've had i've had it crash a few times it wasn't very often when i was building uh this one here it's particularly when i was adding these connections it, i kind of occasionally i got it to crash when it when i kind of put the connection through through the extrusion didn't happen often but it's worth saving you don't want to lose your work so control s do it regularly there you go i'm saving there uh and the other kind of standard control control keyboard uh, shortcuts are control z to go backwards control c to copy control v to paste so we'll be using those but those are the basic things uh, and that's all we kind of need to cut out one thing one thing up here it's under widgets uh, okay now under this one so okay editor if we go to that option you can see there's loads of green here and all that's done is highlight all the connections i've added which is useful because once you've done your build um you might want to just you know it gives you an overview of whether or not you've missed anything and you can you know and it's a way to count them out if you really want to you know if you to buy afterwards you can just you know you could do a, a visual inspection around it and just uh and just make an inventory and count these parts it's kind of useful so if we click back to the select tool it kind of all disappears and we're going to start building them okay whoops okay so we build the base we start the base and first thing we'll start off with with this this section here so i could copy and paste it and just kind of build it that way but that's no good you know it's where we we're, we're build it as if we were to if we didn't have this one there as our template so the first thing we need to do is is uh, pick the, the extrusion type so we go back up here to extrude and this is the one we want so it's 40 80 light so pick that and if you just uh, hold the mouse button down where you want to start it and then drag it will just start making it and you know it'll go in whatever directions you can you know go upwards but we want it this way right um but we need to match it to that so i'm going to go so so click and it will then finish off our, our extrusion so we go back to the select tool and if I click on that, we can see the length of it. So it's 140 centimeters. So we want to replicate that here. If we click back on the one we want to change. We'll just type, type in 140. And you can see that yeah, we got a, uh, it's the same. Uh, it's also on its side, so that's no good to us. We want to rotate it. If you right click, you get these options and then the rotate, click, and you can see all the options here to spin it in different ways so we want to rotate it this way and there you go perfect and we okay also when you click it you have these pointers and this uh shows the direction so that's up and down it'll give me up and down on the scene there you go left and right forward and back so that's how we can move it you can't move it any other way so if i try and click it uh, and try and move it it just kind of does selection tool and it just doesn't go anywhere so we have to use these to move it around and i'll move it a little bit out of the way because we don't want it you know we don't want to interfere right i'll move it down to the floor it's on the floor 
Uh, we don't need to create another one of these. We can just copy and paste it so we don't have to kind of do, do all this kind of business again. Let's delete it off there. We can just highlight it and copy, move out of the way. And where we paste, it will be where the cursor is. So if I put Control V and then move the mouse pointer, it just appears. And we'll loosely put it here. So we've got those. Uh, so we start. So one of the next bit we we'll do is the the width. So let's have a look at that piece. So let's say you can see it's a 4040 light, that's 60 centimeters. So let's go back over to this one and I will select 4040 light. Okay, you can do it that way. Oops. Because it's, I can't remember what the length was now. <laughs> so let's go back. 60, that's right. Yeah, I was thinking 40 because it's 4040 light getting mixed up on my numbers, but okay. So we can we can manually do that and do, um, whoops, actually no, it, it's kind of disappeared there. So we just, we just manually stick it in here, 60. And it's also worth kind of double checking all your stuff here. So I'm, I'm just gonna double check. So yeah, 60, 60, right, okay. Oh no, it's gone, to, it's gone wrong, okay. 60, see, just shows you how you can mess it up. And I deleted it by accident as well, okay. It's Apple's edit, uh, Control's edit, not Apple. It's PC. And I type in 60, there's 60, all right. Stay on 60. Well, it's gone, ah, right, okay. You can see it's kind of changed that back to there. And I think it's because it's kind of interacting with that extrusion around here. So it's trying to line up, it's trying to do me a favor, but it's actually uh, messing me up. So I'm gonna do this again and make sure it's not near it. And hopefully that works and it sticks. So let's go there. 58. I don't know why it's doing that. Okay, so you need to be wary that it, I'm putting in numbers and it's actually not sticking. Um, so I don't know. Okay, why is it doing 58? Let's go down. So it's sticking with 52. Let's put in 60 again. Fifty eight. Okay, I don't know why it's doing that, but I'm going to So it just shows you this put this software isn't perfect. Uh, and I don't know why it's doing that. So I'm gonna do it again. And we want to do sixty. So let's try and get sixty manually. Okay. And sixty. Okay. So it's definitely being, if you're building your own, be really careful then, because I'm not sure why it kind of bugged out like that. Uh, it's useful to know. I mean, I could have, you know, restarted this project and recorded again and didn't have this error. Um, but, you know, it's good to know, you know, these things, this isn't perfect. I, I don't know why it did that. I, I built this completely fine. I didn't have any problems like this. Um, so that kind of threw me. So it's good to know. It's good to know for me and it's good to know for you. Um, so we're going to, we need, want to put, our part here in between these and join join the sides and the way we do that here is if we uh, we'll move this out of the way a little bit and then grab this so we've got a bit plenty of room to work in so you can see we can move back and forwards well left and right and then forwards get it into place and approximately kind of match it up with these roughly so we got a uh, so it's, it's you know it's, it's fairly well duplicated about too much um, difference in you know position and everything because what I've done on here I'll mention it now is all these positions I've tried to replicate kind of accurately I mean it, it's kind of visual but it's kind of very close uh, to you know these positions here for these uprights and the the runoff here which isn't getting used and these positions here. This is a bit different because I'm. Um, you know, this is. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what I did here at least. So again, it's it's good as a visualization, right? So uh, a regular 
racing seat with bottom mounts. Um, I think it's roughly, I think was it, uh, I think it's 35 centimetres. It's around 35 centimetres. I could be wrong. If you if you check online and look for a bottom mount seat for the whips, it's what th this, the distance here to here is. You know, uh, so I kind of put it, so, you know, seat would sit on there and you'd have that kind of spare. You'll, well, your seat sliders would go in there and your seat would go on top. Um, but again, it gives you kind of idea of how, you know, what, how your seat will be kind of fitted, you know, centrally in, in the actual rig itself. Okay, let's go back to this side. Um, yep, sorry about going off, uh, going off track there. Just going to stick that fella down there so it kind of lines up a little bit more like that. Well, let's get, let's get in the middle, it looks a bit rubbish right for uh, the video. And we need to put this in the right place. That's about right. And then we zoom in. And we want to connect it to this one and it will turn blue. When it connects, it will turn blue. So the reason why it's probably not lined up properly. So what happens if you if you go through it, it it goes red. So you know if you haven't got a good a good connection, it's not right. So this will make sure you get it, you know, you don't kind of mess up and get any of your measurements wrong. But you can see what when you do when it does connect, it goes blue. So that means it's kind of connected and everything is uh, nice and you know, perfect connection. Uh, but it's, it's on the bottom one. We don't want it on there. We want to stick it up one. So we we'll stick it up there. It's perfect. And this one, we want to connect to these two parts. So let's move it along here. There you go. And, and you can see it kind of snaps. Um, so it's kind of useful. And as long as, long as you've got those blue connections on the ends like that, it just shows you that everything is true and you, you know, you haven't made any mistakes. And I just click on that. I'm, I'm getting kind of concerned that stuff's going to go a bit funny and my measurements are going to be wrong. This is quite a long video, so I don't want to redo this. Yeah, it stayed on six. That's the main thing, right? Okay. Uh, and you can see, actually, one thing you can see on my design already, it's kind of this isn't lined up. So let's just move that down a little bit just so it's kind of... It's not going to be exact by the millimetre, but it's close enough. It doesn't really matter, does it? You know, because we've got some runoff there. It'll, it'll still look good. So that's kind of lined up that. Um, let's go here. So we want to see that. So we want to have another one of these. We can just copy and paste this one. We don't, again, because, you know, we've already made the, uh, the extrusion. We, there's no point just kind of uh, making them again from scratch. So Control C, Control V. There you go. Click it there, and you see it's, con it's connected nicely for us, perfectly. Okay, let's uh, move that again along here a little bit. And there's one more of these. So if we uh, pan around here, you can see there's that one there along here. And that's, and that's the only thing holding the sides together here. I mean, you obviously got that, but you know these are the things that hold the strength here. Out there and control V again because it'll still be saved in the uh, buffer there in the clipboard and put that on. Ah, okay, so immediately you can see it collided when I put that down because I it didn't like that, so but that's okay. We zoom in and you, what you can see, you can see, you'll be able to see it's kind of like a bit funny. There you go, you can see there's a gap there, there's a gap there. So all we need to do is highlight it and move it along, and it should connect up. There you go. And that's perfect. Zoom out, pan around again, and we can uh, maybe get that position a little bit more accurate there. That's good. Right, I'm going to save again. Like I said, save regularly, just in case something goes a bit wrong here. Um, okay, we'll do these, do these bits for the seat. So go back up here, and 40, 80 light. That's what we want to use. I'll just put it there. And then uh, let's check what that is. So that's 40, let's do 40 here. And see, see if the 40 sticks this time, right? Okay, we turn, let's click away, click something else. Stayed off, gone to 48. It's 38. Hmm. 
Let's put it high there and see what happens. Uh, well, I don't know what happened there. It went to 48. I'll put it to 42 and it's gone to 40. Um, I don't know if it's something I'm doing wrong. I, it is strange. I, I never experienced this before. So um, it's just keep an eye on it because it's, um, like I said, if you, if you just kind of do it and not look, cause it's easy enough just to put in a value, press return and move it into place. Uh, and then something's going to go kind of horribly wrong later on when you find out nothing lines up. So uh, just keep an eye on that. Uh, I don't know. It's kind of strange. Uh, so we want to rotate this. We can see it's kind of not. It's flat, so we want to put it. We want to put it on its side. So click, highlight, and rotate, and rotate it. On the red one there. Rotate to the left. Perfect. Let's kind of zoom in. And uh, put this. Oops. Let's get a better angle. All right, so it just makes it easier to see what I'm doing. And uh, is that connected on? Yeah, it looks like it's connected, right? Just kind of snaps down. Yeah, kind of snaps to it. You can see on mine, I've kind of there, kind of lined up, because we need that lined up. So we we do that now, just because it's to make it tidy. Because we want to use these the brackets there to connect that up and just make it look nice. So we can just move this along to the edge. Move this one along to the edge. Yeah, I'll do nicely. And we we'll copy this because we want to put another one here. So C, Control C, Control V. And it's just on that. Oh, right, well, okay. It looks like it's picked up two parts. Not to worry, we can just delete that one. So that's 40, that's 40, that's 40. Yeah, okay, so that's right. We're not going to mess up on this. And uh, plant that on there. Move it in a bit. I guess I don't really too much. This, you know, there's 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 nothing else connecting to it here, so it doesn't matter. I just want it to be. Uh, just want a bit of consistency, so they they look kind of similar, right? And save again at this point. Next part, we're going to do the uprights here. And they are sixty centimeters. So we need to pick, as you can see, uh, this is 4120, as you can see by the number of channels, you know, so, you know, so that gives you a kind of visualization of kind of how, you know, the difference is here. And that one is, where is that one? Somewhere along here, somewhere, there we go, it's hidden down here, so 4120. Uh, I'm going to do it kind of high, because it seems to kind of go a bit funky when I do less, and then go down, so... Let's double check again. So well, that was uh, 60. Let's try 60 here. So at least we can see if it actually changes height because the other ones were kind of slightly, you couldn't tell because it's, you know, visually when it's a couple of centimeters out. So let's try that. Does it go to 60? It goes to 60. Does it, stays on 60. Perfect, All right. And let's move this into position. Well, that's kind of, connect, it's kind of snapped to that bit, which we don't really need. So I'm gonna uh, zoom in. And around, get a better, let's get a better kind of view of this. There you go, that's better. And we will rotate it. So we want to rotate it around. There you go. Go back to selection and uh, remove it. And it should snap. Is it going to snap or is it a bit high? It's a bit high in there. So yeah, we need to lower it. Okay, let's zoom around there. Okay, I was well out on it. <laughs> there you go, it's kind of snaps there, that's good. And I'll snap there, perfect. Let's just move this along a bit, because that's more kind of like that. Zoom around and we're uh, copy and paste this one. Control C, Control V. Plant it on there, connect straight away. One good thing about this, how the way, the way it lines up, I don't, I'm not sure if I mentioned this before, but you can see kind of how there's a there's that kind of white dotted line there when it gets close, and so you can see it's lining up the center. 
uh, which is great because we need we need these to line up because next we're going to put the uh, we're going to put this bit in for our mounting our wheel save again and uh, on this one I'm going to show you another kind of thing how we kind of we're going to put that that kind of bit here and I'm not going to do any measurements I'm just going to go from one end to the other and we'll just see how we get on so it may not work right but it should do because it should just snap when you kind of draw it straight on it should just snap on both ends and and just be exactly to that so I'm not going to look at that and see what that measurement is it should be perfect what we're going to do so that is using as you can see there's two channels so that is 40 80 and that's the one the light one if we uh, go in here so we can you know get a good view there we go and you can see it's kind of all connects and this is true to the top with the little orange indication and then i click and hold it down and it should just snap to the end here and i click off and it's done okay and that should be 60 right that's 60 60 so you know we're on track it's perfect absolutely perfect all right so it gets a bit more tricky when we get to these bits down here you can see it's you know it's all but it's not too hard so we're built building this frame for our pedals so we want to do this do this kind of length here these two before we kind of snap those you know these could fit in there that's 40 40 so let's have a look at the so that's 52 it's 52 so we want 52 40 40 52 that's what we're planning to do here there you go back to our 40 40 light and i will just do a big old length here just again just so we, nothing kind of changes we'll see it when it changes double check this i keep forgetting the numbers <laughs> sorry so 52 let's put in uh 52 here not 45 52 return 50 it's gone to 50 it's gone to that it's gone to 50. right i'm tr I'm kind of wondering if it's kind of interacting with some of these bits here and it's um and it's trying to kind of help you out but it's actually not helping me here so let's kind of get it right out of the way just see if this 52 52 yeah so it does seem to like when you're doing these things it's kind of um, locking on to some of these bits and it, and it kind of goes well you don't you know it's trying to help you out um, by lining things up but it's not really helping so it might be a good idea if you're doing some of these things it's, it's kind of doing it off the canvas off you know so you're not kind of in that you know along here or along there because it can throw you so yeah it stayed 52 um, and obviously the orientation is all wrong for us so we need to rotate it again so right click and rotate take that way excellent and then let's move it along here ah one thing I did forget I guess it shows you when you're just recording um, recording live and just trying to do it on the fly is we haven't done these so it's no good is it we need to put those up right so you can see that's another 40 80 uh, and that's 30 centimeters okay to make this one easier for this one we, we've done enough you know creating stuff so I'm just going to copy these um, these two ones because I don't think it's necessary we've kind of done enough right so there you go ah okay that's interesting right it's copied the brackets so I'm gonna get rid of the brackets we're going to do that later. So is it copied the other bracket on the other side? Let's copy that bracket. Okay, let's kill that. We don't want you. Uh, but, you know, well, we only copied, you know, one side of the bracket and that one there. So, yeah, that's odd, right? No problem. Okay, let's kind of get this fellow in here. Up a bit. Pan around. And... Uh, Ah, perfect, it's connected. Okay, so I'll copy this one rather than pasting it again because it's going to copy the junk that we had before. So copy, paste. Uh, 
paste. There you go, nice clean one. Pop that on there. Realign it. So you've got that, you know, got that line and it kind of snaps. So we know we're kind of in, on track, that's great. So all the little flaws actually, uh, it's actually, you know, more positives than any negatives about using this software. In fact, you know, you're just basically drawing stuff on screen. It's a really nice program. There's nothing, there's nothing too complicated here, is there? So, okay, so now we've, we've already made this bit. So we're st we'll put this in here. Okay. Went over. Okay, let's get nice and close so we can just see it connecting. That's it, that's perfect. Obviously it's too high and it's uh, too far out, so we'll move that in here. And move that down to about there. Is that right? And we copy that and then paste it again. Just kind of pan around seeing if it's kind of connected. Yeah, see some of these bits don't connect when you you know easily so you have to kind of go in and it'll snap in when you get the when you get the right angle. Sometimes it's kind of difficult to kind of see stuff in the uh, on the screen, you know, where it's kind of related and the were floating around. So yeah, it's just kind of pan in move the screen around and you can kind of get a, you can sort it out that way. Let's move that along there a little bit. Yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll do, that's fine. It's about right, isn't it? Yeah, it's good enough. I'm going to save at this point. And we want these bits for the pedals to mount the pedals onto. So, I'll try and just draw it rather than check the measurements and just see if that's kind of worked out again this time. It's useful to know, just a bit of test. Uh, well, so we just the same profile that we're using before. We need to kind of get a nice angle because otherwise I'm not going to know what I'm doing here. Okay. So line it up and click and hold. And it should just, there you go. That should just, perfect. So that's 52, so we'll check the other ones in a bit, and they should be 52 as well. So again, just get the mouse pointer over there, and it kind of snaps to it. And you see the blue indicating it's kind of connected. Move it along, and it will snap there. Whoops. Okay, so you have to press the mouse pointer again, uh, click the mouse again, and it will kind of it will connect. So that's 52, 52. That's of course going to be 52. Perfect. It's almost there. That's right. We're not far off build finishing this thing off now, right? That's great. So the only thing we need to do is stick the pedal deck bit on there. And do the bracket. So we do that afterwards. Um, so again, I'm going to shortcut this bit because Again, you know, you, we've done this so many times creating these, we don't need to do it again. So I'm just going to copy that, just paste it down, just put it there. Okay, they collided, that's fine. We're just going to go in there and, and fix this. Let's get a nice angle. No, pick the wrong one. Control Z it. It's done it again. Click out and click it, yeah, okay. Let's move these both out of the way. Is it this one? That's no, both colliding, so yeah, it's kind of Ah, okay. Right, so it's got those little brackets on there and that's kind of making a bit of a problem for me here. So let's get rid of those anyway. So yeah, they copied them from the bottom of there, they didn't kind of copy those top ones. Again, I don't know why, it just kind of does stuff. And uh well, okay, it's deleted a bunch of my stuff, so I don't know why I did that. So, Control Z, and it's come back. So, yeah, we're saved. We're okay, no problem.
at worst I could just reload it from where I was. So let's, let's move this out of the way and kind of get get uh, get the random little brackets out of the way and kill them off there. So they're not in our way. And again, that locks into place. Move it down, locks into place. Move it along a bit, just because it's so... Okay, so I don't know why I'm doing this. It's just me being kind of uh, obsessive here. <laughs> Trying to try make it look uniform. Okay. So one last save before we uh, do the brackets. Okay, so we can see it's the same. The only thing we're missing here is we haven't done any brackets. You know, so we need those, otherwise this thing isn't gonna hold together. Um, it does, when you actually connect these things up, you'll actually see, if you'll see it's actually put in some these kind of brackets and I think you know I've, I've never seen these before but they look like they're kind of real things you can buy um, and it kind of puts those in there but it doesn't really matter we can ignore those what we're going to use is the these brackets here which we like which I showed you earlier and you can see the way they work I'll just give you if you haven't used, looked at these before if we go to the editor does it show it no oh, it's not showing it okay no, actually, okay. There's not okay. Well, there's another way of looking at that because it's showing that about the bolts. Which uh, what I wanted to show, get out of there, is uh, you kind of kind of get to see an X-ray view of how this looks. And I think it's Edit Connector. That's the one. Is that an Edit Connector? Yeah. Okay. Edit Connector. And if I click on it, is it showing it? Okay. Is it showing the? I wanted to show you the. Okay, no, it's not really showing it, unfortunately. Right, because the way that these bolts work, if you've never used 84, um, 84, 24, as you can see, the, the obvious bit is you've got, you got a connecting bracket and it bolts through. So that's clear enough, but that bolt is just basically, isn't you know, that's just a channel. There's nothing there for you. So you get these um, uh, little T-nuts and they slide into the channel. If we get another better angle here makes it clear on how kind of it works uh, I'll pop a picture up here so uh, you can just kind of see what it looks like I you know <laughs> I'll edit this and later so I'll pop something up there you know, hopefully it will, you know it should be clear enough but yeah they kind of they slide in there these these um, and they're kind of that shape they slide in and they have a they're threaded effectively kind of nut, um, and the bolt then clamps down and it kind of holds so it just kind of holds it all together. So one thing, you know, when, when you're actually buying all this stuff, you know, understand it. And one of these connectors, you're going to need two bolts and two of these T-nuts to kind of push them through. So it all adds up, you know, each one of those, you know, you start kind of multiplying. And those, those are the bits where actually, which are kind of the more expensive bits. So compared to, you know, extrusion itself is very cheap material to kind of buy a piece. Um, really the expensive bits, all the connecting bits. So the more, the more, um, pieces of extrusion you use the more of those you're going to use and, and you know that's where the cost comes up you know so if you start getting you know getting quite complicated with your design and you need to connect a lot of parts together the cost will be all in all in the bolts well the, the bolts are cheap it's the it's the brackets the brackets they they cost a bit um and you know the the t-nuts aren't too expensive but you know it all adds up you know if you you know this you can you it could be like you know 50 bolts and all that sort of stuff you know so you know all that stuff sort of adds up over time so you know when you think about your design you know it might be worth considering you know if, if you can simplify it um, it'll save you money uh, not just on the extrusion but on the connection parts okay so finally we're going to just add those uh, we're going to add the, uh, the brackets and this is nice and easy it's kind of a pleasurable experience connecting it all up this way it's the final part to it so you can see over here there's a couple here so we'd, i'll do the same I'll, I'll basically follow the same plan so we need to go to slot accessories and then go to gusset and um, we'll pick that 
Uh, if I'm saying so a lot, I do apologise. <laughs> um, this is my first kind of live. You know, any hesitations? I'm, I'm trying to. I'm trying to kind of do a clean kind of audio here, but it is actually quite difficult kind of trying to think and do it all at the same time. Hopefully I get better. I mean, I'm, I'm kind of, I'll, you know, I'll do some more tutorials maybe later on. Um, and, uh, you know, I'll be less, there'll be less hesitating and kind of breaks and ums and ahs. You know, I'm, I'm trying. It is quite tough. It's not something I'm used to. It is kind of a skill. I, I'm, hopefully I'll get used to it over time. Okay, so uh, again, these, these things just snap into place when you kind of uh, whack them up here. You just kind of you see it's just mousing over and I'll click and it connects it and it should put the bolts in for you if you and uh, ah okay one thing I should show you actually is um, ideally when you stick these on it should just kind of snap and then do the connections cleanly but occasionally you'll see and I'll, and I'll, I'll, I'll make it go wrong on purpose sometimes you kind of put it up and and it will and it will actually snap in the wrong direction normally the reverse it'll kind of snap there and it's like it gets a bit annoying so you might hear me kind of pressing a key and that's g g just rotates these um, so if it's kind of like um if it kind of does snap to a funny angle uh just g and it'll and it'll just you get that right uh, and, and if you if one of your kind of if this isn't kind of right if, if some of these are kind of if you're um extrusion a little bit off You'll see sometimes that only one bolt will go in, so that's kind of indicated that things are a little bit kind of off on your uh, on, on your design. So if it both bolts go in, you know everything is kind of nicely lined up. Oops, going the wrong way. Uh, getting all disorientated. So we go here, and we put. Oops, go back. If I just click that, it should go back to the last one I used. Perfect. Okay, so that and that. So we're up here, we do these. So this is the one where, we're, ah, yeah, go, here we go, you can see it going a bit weird. So yeah, I had this problem before and, and um, I had to kind of look in their tutorial to find out how to rotate these because it was a bit annoying. It's kind of stuck, it just did this and I was getting quite frustrated. <laughs> so um, let's, uh, oops. Okay. I kind of want to get it nice and uh, straight so I get this lined up on it goes lined up properly okay it's doing that weird thing where you can see it's only put in one bolt don't know why that is um let's see if i can make that kind of sort itself out because it's along there so it should should have been right no it's not showing anything okay Well, that's weird. But I'm wondering if it's, uh, let's just check the edit. There's no, no kind of weird connectors on there like it might have added them. Okay. So that's not so great. I don't know why it's done that. I did have this problem before, but I was able to, as I say, you can see they were in there. So I was able to get it to work. Um, so it's not, it's not the worst in the world, uh, but it's, it's worth bearing in mind that occasionally if you're trying to count the, the bolts and all that sort of stuff, you might, you might find like one iffy one is missing. So you just, just count them. Is it because it's too high? Okay, or well maybe it is something I could just do here. One sec, is, it, is that it? No, that's the wrong. Uh, uh, is it this? Well, it looks like it's all right. Let's do that. Move this up. It's not even moving up. Can I even move it up? Is it, is it fixed it? No, let's, let's just delete it and stick one again and just see if it fixes it this time. So I'm going to start from this side. So it's done that connection if I do it from connect to the top. Let's move it in. Oops. And let's move it down. Well, it's all going all wrong, isn't it? It's all gone glitchy. Okay. Let's Uh, where are we? Go back in. So it's done some kind of weird graphic-y thing here. I think it's probably stuck up. There it goes, back in there. Let's kill that out there. Right, so uh, it's kind of annoying me, but I don't think... Oh, okay, let's say, okay, let's try it now. Has that worked? But I reckon not, but I don't know for sure. Let's have a look. Let's do a big reveal. Oh, it's worked. Okay, so that's probably me then. Um, but yeah, these brackets can be a bit finicky, right? So 
you know. I'll, I'll leave this in the video because I mean, although you don't need to see it, I suppose, when you're building this, if you might get the same frustration as me. And it's useful to know that, you know, it it's could just be a bit of user error kind of messing around with these things. Um, no, I've done it again. Love of God. <laughs> okay, so if I do it there, connect it up that way, and then I slide it in and just see if this works. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Well, it looks like it's kind of there. But yeah, it still hasn't kind of done it. This, this view's gone all wonky, okay. Let's go back, it's, it's, you know, it's chucked me about 30 feet away. <laughs> okay, I hasn't done it. Okay, I don't really care. We're not gonna worry about that. As long as you get the brackets on there, we, kinda, we can use it as a way to count them up at the end when you need to. I'm just gonna save it here. I said, is it, the only thing I really had any issues with um, when I built, when I designed, uh, designed this first time was some of these brackets have like a bit of a, a weird, way of, um, of behaving, but that's okay. Uh, okay, so on mine, because I'm using a direct drive wheel, I kind of really shored it up by using a bunch of these. Actually, I didn't do it like that way, did I? Let's move this out of the way. I put one on each side. Um, so you may not need it. These, things, the, the, I mean, these are really solid. These are really solid. I mean, it's, you know, you'll see kind of how, how many we've put down here, and you can see they hold, they, they hold a lot of weight. Um, so the wheel, I mean, I, I may have over-engineered a little bit, but, you know, I, I didn't mind. I had spare. So we're going to rotate that, that, and then stick one here, rotate it. So I put one there. There you go. So, yeah, that's my design. That's how I've done it. Um, just to kind of ensure that, it's, you know, it's, it's rock solid and nothing kind of moves around. And we need to, uh, so we kind of smash through these because it might be getting a bit bored by now, right? <laughs> Hopefully not. Okay, so there's one there. Oh, there's my cat. You might be able to hear it going on. Sorry about that. It's, uh, it's kind of distracting me now. Okay, so stick that one on there. I'm just going to. You can see it's kind of there, that's all right. Uh, we need to attach, I mean, the, I mean, this one I can go up or down, I suppose, on the top or bottom. We only need one, one oh, now my cat's on my keyboard. Great, okay, never mind. I can still do this. There's there. There. There, there. Nice bit of funk, funky there. Close enough. Yeah, I'm just trying to get through these quickly. You know, it's uh, you don't need to see all this sort of stuff, right? Because you know, you can get an idea that stuff has to connect up, but. Where's the next one? Okay, so, ah, we need to do it on the frame here. Otherwise these will just fall down. So one, two, three, four. Let's do the back here as well. So, I mean, you can get on, on this one, if you saw my one, you can see I've got four on there. You know, oh, well, you know, four on each kind of uh, length here. Uh, depending on how much weight you're just going to bear down on it, you can actually get away with uh, just, a, you know, with just one, two, three, four. Uh, again, it depends on what you, you know, I've got a motion platform on mine, the next level uh, V3. And that adds a little bit of extra weight. So... You know, it's fair enough in my kind of build that I kind of need it. You might not need it on yours. I mean, I, I kind of suggest that there's no need not to. 
Uh, it's all good stuff and you know you can always repurpose them if you find that you know you've over engineered it it's always useful to have spares i mean i would kind of recommend when you if you do when you buy some of this stuff you you get a few more brackets you get a few more t-nuts you get a few more uh, uh bolts you know just extras because you might find that you know you miscalculated um or you know when you do some modifications later on you have some spares um the chances are you're gonna you know if you have one of these you might want to stick some more extrusion on here to do to add a handbrake or you know gears etc you know it's 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 useful to have those spares hanging around then you know they're, they're, although they might kind of be expensive and you know if you're buying 50 if you buy an extra 10 it doesn't really make much difference at that point okay and there's that last one there and uh, we need to uh, need to cinch this down. Didn't really need too many on here. Just uh, four. Just gonna save it quickly. Uh, have I missed anything? Have I missed anything? I don't know. Let's have a quick scan around. Ah, yes. Right, so we've got nothing holding these down. Uh, we can't use these brackets here where it is. No, it's not strong enough. Um, different suppliers will have different types of kind of connecting plates. I'm going to let's get rid of that bit. So, okay, around uh, that you can kind of connect these down here. So, that, you know, sometimes it's called strap, sometimes they're called connector plates. Um, ideally, you want something which, you know, if, if you cover that, that, and, you know, uh, up here, so you have two bolts here, two bolts there. You know an arrangement there um, I'll, I'll pop in a picture and you can see the connection plate, uh, plate on mine and that kind of came from Simlab but I have seen you can get them um, elsewhere but not all ex uh, aluminium extru extrusion suppliers will have the exact same supplies they're gonna have all these kind of standard stuff but the kind of the, the kind of the connecting plates here you might find they have a you know their own kind of version of it uh, so you know potentially you might have to shop elsewhere, particularly you know, if you can get the extrusion cheap somewhere else, and you have to, and, and but the connection plates are uh, from another supplier, but they're more expensive for the other parts. Then split your order; it's, it's going to be you know more sensible to do it that way. Um, but okay, so we we'll see what they what they offer here because there's not much they have on in this software. And it's and I think yeah, slot accessories again and connection plate. You can see they haven't really got a lot, so they got some piddly ones there um which are, they're kind of useful for some things I, i've used these i've used these on my rig um i um and they're actually handy for other connections but this is the kind of the best they offer here so we're just gonna have to use that and just just so we have something in place and so i stick one there we stick it on both sides actually uh on mine i've only got a, uh, one of these plates on one side but it's, it's a big plate it uses so many screw, uh, bolts uh, that you don't you don't need it on both sides um, but on this one, because uh, I'm just using their stuff, I'm just going to just overload it with uh, these plates. I think, uh, let's move it up. Okay, so if I need to line it up, and it all should. If it's lined up, it should fit those bolts in again. There you go, the bolts are in there. Go to the other side. Put another one of these on. Okay, let's put it up there and move it down. Put another one here. And as you can see, it kind of jumps around, so um, it's, a bit, it's a bit annoying, but then you know we can move it down anyway. There you go, perfect. Oops, excuse me. Zoom in here. I'm going to stick this one on the last bits. And then the final plate. 
Ah, went on perfectly. The only thing I see on this one, you see I've got some um, these nylon covers. And, uh, you know, they're actually, well, I mean, for what, for what they are, they're actually quite, they're kind of a, a bit expensive, I'd say, but you kind of need them. Um, they're worth having because this stuff is pretty sharp. I mean, if you rubbed your finger on, on one of those edges, you're not going to cut yourself, but they are kind of sharp metal edges. If you were to, you know, stump your foot on it or just, you know, hit your arm or, or leg onto one of these edges, you will cut yourself. They are pretty sharp. So at the very least, if you're going to um, use, you know, uh, do one of the, you know, build your own. Um, get enough to cover the bits where you could collide with it, you know, so, you know, where your feet could hit the end here, there. You don't have to worry about those end bits. There you should. Um, if you're going to back it against the wall, then you probably want to have some, you know, there. Just so it doesn't sort of scratch into the wall. Um, you know, uh, you may or may not need that. Depending, I've got a tabletop on mine, so you know, you don't, you know, that's that's kind of uh, hidden away. Um, but if we look at here on how you can add them, just to, uh, to be a completionist, they're here. So you get your selection tool, and if you click on it, it may not work on this one because it, it wouldn't allow me to do it on there. But so I'll try here, and just put cover cap. Yeah. So it doesn't like it because it's. I think it's just kind of collided there. Although if I was to fit one and then real and you know in the real world. It would go in fine and there wouldn't be any problems here um, so so this one would be fine and I know that one won't go on again it's kind of thinking that there's some sort of collision there but again it, it doesn't it won't happen not in real life so click cover cap okay we'll zoom in actually so we can just see it kind of a live a live cover cap there you go and it'll, it'll, it'll put it on both sides um, both sides it can do it on so we do it on that one uh, cover cap. But again, do, do it on that one. It won't. It won't. It won't like it because it just thinks that's going to hit it. But certainly on those, because uh, you know, it's you, you can have a bad time hitting that. That'll hurt. And if we uh, zoom out, do you know what we're done? So there you go. There's my Simlab, Simlab GT1, and there's my Simlab GT1. I think that ends the video. Um, okay, uh, I don't know how long this has gone for. I think it's quite a long video, but hopefully you, you know you found it useful. I've quite enjoyed making it. Um, the cat enjoyed me making it. Uh, she's on my computer now. Uh, she's having a kip. Uh, I'm going to sign off now, and that's uh, the end of this video. Again, uh, if you look at the description, you'll find uh, the link to Frame Designer and a download link to uh, the design we produced today, or just be one, I won't include both. Uh, you can download it, manipulate it, or, or you know, another good idea, if, if you're trying to make your own and you don't want this, um, it gives you kind of scale. You get a scale of what a real life uh, Simrig is because you know if you're doing it from scratch you don't know how long you want that to be you don't know how long that to be so if you compare this frame to my to my video in my uh, uh, sim tool of uh, rig sim, sim rig tool uh, it'll, it'll give you some scale and this way you can kind of you know you can imagine kind of do you need that to be so tall do you need you know the width to be you know that wide and uh, and the lengths, um, you know, because the worst thing is you, you kind of go, oh, well, I only need it to be 140 centimetres along here. And then you think that should be right because you get a tape measure out uh, and then you kind of get all the bits together and then you find, you know, stuff doesn't fit. You know, so if you build it, you know, if you build your own like, like this, just build it to the side and then it'll give you that scale of kind of of, of, of kind of how, you know, how you can physically fit in it. And so it's a useful guide, you know, nevertheless, if you, you know, if you don't care about that, you know, you might think this is kind of rubbish uh use it as a temp you know use it as a kind of like something on the side and just build it along here and uh it should you know help you out um i'm kind of thinking i'm going to do i'm going to do some more of these builds um i got some uh, i got another idea of, of making a slightly smaller version of this uh which is based on the the current simlab gt1 so look out for that uh 
Uh, I guess I might do it in the next few days or, or next week. Um, but, you know, hopefully you found this useful. Again, like I said, I'm sorry I'm peeing myself. Um, leave some comments. You know, I'd appreciate, you know, hearing from you guys. Uh, and, you know, if you do like it, do hit the thumbs up. It, you know, my channel is tiny. I've got, you know, at this time of making this video, I've got three subscribers. And those aren't from when I started doing, you know, more videos. They're from like two years ago from when I just posted a couple of kind of rubbishy flex you know look at my kind of rig stuff which which was more for um, um i posted those on a forum for you know just to help other people out to show some kind of demonstrations you know so they weren't really for you know channel and you know general public consumption uh you know so i, I kind of left them on there just as a reminder of kind of when i started you know when i started this the channel in the first place so yeah i got i've got loads of ideas and um you know, so it's going to be some sim racing stuff, some practical stuff like this, uh, reviewing some of my gear. And uh, but yeah, I think this is going to be a bit of a series. I'm going to feel build up because I think this is kind of useful to people, and I want to kind of have some content which is going to bring bring some people to the channel. Um, uh, but yeah, sorry, I'm rambling on. I'm going to end the video now. Uh, thanks again for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye then. Mm -hmm.